Hi you guys and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you guys how I turn this frizzy fluffy fro into these springy bouncy springtime curls. Stay tuned. So after washing and deep conditioning my hair, I sectioned it into four parts. I don't really care about neatness in this part, so that's why I'm using my hands to part my hair. Starting with the front section, I take my leave-in conditioner, moisturize that into the entire section. Now taking a small roller sized amount of hair out. and pinning the rest back. Then I take my wide tooth comb to detangle that section, split that part in half and clip the other out of the way. Then I thoroughly apply Aunt Jackie's Don't Shrink On Me gel into the section. Run it through with my fingers and then really work it in with my paddle brush. Then with my roller, I take the end of my hair and wrap it around a few times, then wound my hair up onto the roller. Do the same thing with the other side. It's already detangled, so I just add the gel. Working in with my hands and again with the paddle brush. Get my roller, twirl my ends around the roller a few times, and wound my hair up onto the roller. On the side of my head, we're going to do the same process. Add a little leave-in conditioner and work that through. Part that section going towards my ear. Detangle it with my wide tooth comb. This time I switched the direction and I'm wrapping the rollers downward towards my ear, but still adding the gel, brushing it through with my paddle brush and winding the hair up onto the roller. Finally, last roller. I am nobody's stylist, so this is not perfect at all, but I'm here for it. Now I'm about to sit under the dryer for two hours and go to bed. The next day I woke up and my hair is fully dry. It doesn't feel crunchy right now, thank goodness, because you know gel can get a little crunchy, but let's see what we got. Uh, 
Okay, Jill. Let's take them all down. It's crazy because I look like Shirley Temple right now. <laughs> Now, before y'all try to come for me and my edges, I'm not an edge queen by any means. I don't do all the swoops and swirls and squiggles. Look, I just want my edges to lay down. That's it. This is my finished look. I know the curls are really tight, but I actually prefer them this way because to me, the style lasts longer because now my hair can fall and get as big as I want it to in time. It doesn't have to be big today. So I prefer this. Just to show you, here's a picture of what it looked like on day three. And by day five, I pulled it back into a curly poof. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. And also to check out more natural hair videos, make sure that you subscribe to my YouTube channel. For all things Blondie, head to blondieslipstick.com and make sure that you follow me all over social media at Blondie's Lipstick. Until next time, mwah!